I thought I would talk a little bit about the use of music in temple worship since we are covering the Psalms this week. And the truth is, is that the descriptions of music in worship don't really occur in the descriptions of the tabernacle or the temple in the Book of Kings. And it is not really until we get into Chronicles that we have an overt mention of the role of music and musicians in temple worship, where we also have the names of the leaders, such as Asaph and Jeduthun in the time of David listed. Um, and you will recall that in the superscriptions of the Psalms, some of them are dedicated to Asaph and Jeruthun. There are also mentions of music and musicians in the Psalter, Ezra, and Nehemiah. But it is generally probably in the later texts that we find the music emphasized. This doesn't necessarily mean there wasn't any music in the tabernacle or temple, but that is not the focus of the attention of the biblical writers. Now we do find both in Samuel and in Chronicles mention of musicians in the procession of the ark into Jerusalem after it had um, been sort of in exile in a sense. It had been captured by the Philistines. It had been brought back into Israel, but there was no special place for it. So David determines that he is going to bring the ark back into Jerusalem. And in the context of Second Samuel's account, it talks about the use of castanets, kino rote, whether they are harps or some kind of lyre, nivalim, timbrels, tupim, sistrums, mena'anim, and cymbals, tzatzalim. And it also talks about how the ark is brought up with the sound of trumpets, the, the shofar, the ram's horn. We find that, too, in the Chronicles version. Uh, David told the leaders of the Levites to appoint their fellow Levites as musicians to make a joyful sound with musical instruments. Uh, lyres, nevalims, kinorot, and cymbals, metzil taim. And it names the musicians uh, Haman, Asaph, and Ethan were to sound the cymbals, were to play the li uh, others were to play the lyres, and others yet to play the kinorot. In addition, they are to blow trumpets, the hatzotzerot, and there is the sounding of ram's horn, the shofar the trumpets and cymbals and lyres and harps. When we are talking about harps here, it is not certain that there were harps per se. Uh, the harp is a particular kind of stringed instrument. What has actually been found in archeological expeditions are a lyre type of stringed instrument where you have a U type frame with a crossbar and the strings going down from the crossbar between the U shaped frame. The harp is a slightly different instrument. When we get to the dedication of the temple in 1 Kings 8, there is no mention of music. It talks about the Ark of the Lord 
being brought into the inner sanctuary, put underneath the wings of the cherubim. The fact that there is nothing in the ark except the two stone tables that Moses had placed in it at Horeb. And when the priests withdrew from the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord. And the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled his temple. However, in the account in Second Chronicles 5, it mentions musicians right up front, and all the Levites who were musicians, Asaph, Haman, Jeruthun, and their sons and relatives, stood on the east side of the altar, dressed in fine linen and playing cymbals, harps, and lyres. They were accompanied by 120 priests sounding trumpets. The trumpeters and musicians joined in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments, the singers raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good, his love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the cloud, and the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. I want to be clear here that this is a particular English translation. Some of the musical terms are rather uncertain. We don't know exactly what they meant. Some suggestions are made by me in the uh, video on ancient musical instruments. There are other places where musical instruments are mentioned. For example, in Psalm 68, there is this description of God coming into the sanctuary. Your procession, God, has come into view, the procession of my God and King into the sanctuary. In front are the singers, after them the musicians, with them are the young women playing the timbrels. In First Chronicles 25, all these were the sons of Haman the king's seer, according to the promise of God to exalt him. For God had given Haman fourteen sons and three daughters. They were all under the direction of their father for the music in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, harps, and lyres for the service of the house of God. Notice that both men and women were involved in the music of the, of, uh, the temple worship. We find this also mentioned in Nehemiah. Uh, they performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did the singers and the gatekeepers. And note that it mentions David and Asaph, and in Second Chronicles 35, Jeduthun, who are also mentioned in the Psalms. In Second Chronicles 35, the singers, the descendants of Asaph, were in their place according to the command of David, and Asaph and Haman and the king's seer, Jeduthun. This is during the sort of rededication of the temple by Josiah. 